Mr. Marcus, I'm gonna move kind of fast here today, so I apologize in advance if I, if I interrupt you. We only have five minutes. I wanna uh, first agree with a lot of the comments that Senator Toomey made. We need to encourage innovation, but I wanna to explore today the underpinnings of Libra. Uh, can we agree that a banker should be trustworthy? Uh, yes, Senator. Can we agree that a banker should be honest? Yes, uh, Senator. Can we agree that a banker should respect uh, a customer's privacy? Uh, Senator, uh, yes, of course, but we are not going to engage in banking. Can we agree that, uh, that Facebook knew in the spring of 2016 that uh, Russia was attempting through Facebook to uh, disrupt the U.S. presidential election? Uh, Senator, uh, with regards to those events, uh, we definitely moved too slow, and uh, we've it, learned... Isn't it true that your general counsel and your chief security officer knew in the spring of 2016, isn't it true that uh, Mr. Zuckerberg and your CFO, Ms. Sandberg, I believe, knew in, in December of 2016... Isn't it also true that you didn't tell your board of directors, they didn't tell the board of directors until 2017, until September 2017? Isn't that accurate? Uh, Senator, uh, we definitely moved too slow to recognize uh, the activities that were happening on the platform. Well, uh, but since excuse me for interrupting, but I only got five minutes. Um, in September 2017, when senior management told your board of directors, you also issued, Facebook also issued a statement. It said, uh, yeah, the Russians have tried to disrupt the election through Facebook, but they only spent $100,000 and they only ran 3,000 ads. That was a lie, wasn't it? I'm, I'm sorry, Senator. That was a lie, wasn't it? Uh, I don't believe it was, but... Uh... Well, well, later Facebook admitted that actually the Russian ad had reached 126 million people, didn't they? Oh, Senator, I believe that uh, the, the people uh, who answered that question at the time answered to the best of their knowledge at the time. Right. When, when Mr. Zuckerberg was conducting his listening tour um, across the whole country, first half, I think, of 2017, um, when, he, when he was feeding cows in Wisconsin and having dinner with refugees in Minneapolis. He, he knew about the Russian involvement, didn't he? Uh, I don't know, Senator. Okay. He didn't say anything, did he? I, I don't remember the timeline, Senator. Okay. Um, in, in the spring of 2017, spring and summer, our intelligence committee in the U.S. Senate started investigating the Russian attempts to disrupt the election through Facebook. Facebook issued a statement saying there were no such attempts. That was a lie, wasn't it? Senator, I can't, I don't remember the timeline and I believe that people have always answered truthfully with the information they had at the time. Okay, in June of 2018, let me fast forward a little bit, uh, we found out um, that Facebook was sharing user data with device makers, a whole bunch of them, 40 of them, Amazon, Microsoft, Samsung. Facebook didn't disclose that to the users, did it? Uh, Senator, my understanding, and again, it was not my responsibility or my team, is that the, this was designed to enable those uh, phone manufacturers to build uh, integration within the Facebook product to uh, serve those consumers using these devices. Okay. Your algorithms are such that if I watch a video on a topic, I'm immediately shown uh, videos on, on more extreme versions of that topic. We call that stickiness. Is that correct? Uh, this is not uh, the way that the, the Facebook platform operate today, Senator. But it did and for a long time, right? Uh, Senator uh, Mark uh, uh, really led through the well, change. Well, can, can we agree on this, that Facebook has now become the major news source for many, many people, probably the major news source. Is that true? I don't believe it is, Senator. I believe that uh, more and more people are interacting with other well, people Well, 60% on the platform. of your users say they get their news off Facebook as their primary source. Um, isn't it true... I really want your opinion that, that Facebook has chosen to advance a set of values 
in which uh, truthful, truthful reporting has been, display, has been displaced by uh, flagrant displays of bullshit. I, I don't know how to answer that question, Senator. Okay. <laughs> well, here's my last question, and, and I agree again with Senator Toomey. I have great respect for Facebook. But Facebook now wants to control the money supply. We what, could, what could possibly go wrong? Uh, Senator, we will not control uh, either Libra, the currency, or the association, and we agree that no company should control such a, a network or digital currency. I'd like a second round if we could, Mr. Chairman. If we have time, I will be glad to do that for senators who so wish. <laughs>